Few biblical books are regarded by scholars as the product of a single individual. All the books of the Hebrew Bible have been edited and revised to produce the work known today. Divine authorship, Jews, Samaritans, and Christians have, in different ways, regarded the Bible as being the Word of God, or as having been authored by the Jewish, Christian God. In many Christian liturgies, the words, This is the Word of the Lord, will follow a scripture reading. As St. Thomas Aquinas stated, The author of Holy Scripture is God. Westminster Confession of Faith asserts that the Bible's authority depends wholly upon God, the author thereof, and therefore it is to be received because it is the Word of God. A few of the books of the Minor Prophets claim divine origin, as well as the book's transmission through a human prophet. Hosea chapter 1 verse 1 has, The word of the Lord that came to Hosea son of Beeri, while Joel, Micah and Zephaniah all commence in a similar fashion. James L. Mays suggests that it was the theological understanding of the final redactor that the book as a whole is the word of Yahweh. There is some debate as to how the word of God may have been transmitted to the authors. The usual position held in modern Christian theology is that the Word was inspired by God. While there are some who believe that God verbally dictated the Word to those who recorded it, many evangelicals in particular appeal to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 as indicating the Bible's divine authorship. In the ESV translation, this reads, All scripture is breathed out by God, while the NIV renders it, All scripture is God-breathed. Robert L. Raymond argues that Paul was asserting the divine origin of the entirety of scripture. Although Paul was specifically referring to the Old Testament, Hebrew Bible, the Hebrew Bible, or Tanakh, is the collection of scriptures making up the Bible used by Judaism. The order used here follows the divisions used in Jewish Bibles. Torah The first division of the Jewish Bible is the Torah, meaning, instruction, or, law. In scholarly literature it is frequently called by its Greek name, the Pentateuch. It is the group of five books made up of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers in Deuteronomy and stands first in all versions of the Christian Old Testament. According to rabbinic tradition the five books of the Torah were written by Moses, with the exception of the last eight verses of Deuteronomy which describe his death. Today, the majority of scholars agree that the Pentateuch does not have a single author, and that its composition took place over centuries. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers From the late 19th century there was a general consensus among scholars around the documentary hypothesis, which suggests that the first four books were created c. 450 BCE by combining four originally independent sources, known as the Jarwist, the Elohist, the Deuteronomist, and the Priestly Source. This approach has since seen various revisions. Yet while the identification of distinctive Deuteronomistic and priestly theologies and vocabularies remains widespread, they are used to form new approaches suggesting that the books were combined gradually over time by the slow accumulation of fragments of text, or that a basic text was supplemented by later authors, editors. At the same time there has been a tendency to bring the origins of the Pentateuch further forward in time, and the most recent proposals place it in 5th century Judah under the Persian Empire. Deuteronomy Deuteronomy is treated separately from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers. Its place in the documentary hypothesis is anomalous, as it, unlike the other four, consists of a single source. The process of its formation probably took several hundred years, from the 8th century to the 6th, and its authors have been variously identified as prophetic circles, levitical priestly circles, and wisdom and scribal circles. Deuteronomy was later used as the introduction to the comprehensive history of Israel written in the early part of the 6th century, and later still it was detached from the history and used to round off the Pentateuch. Prophets Former Prophets The Former Prophets make up the first part of the second division of the Hebrew Bible, the Nevi'im, which translates as Prophets. 
In Christian Bibles the Book of Ruth, which belongs in the final section of the Hebrew Bible, is inserted between Judges and Samuel. According to Jewish tradition dating from at least the 2nd century CE, the Book of Joshua was by Joshua. The Book of Judges and the Books of Samuel were by the prophet Samuel, while the two Books of Kings were by Jeremiah. Since 1943 most scholars have accepted Martin Noth's argument that Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Samuel and Kings make up a single work. The so-called Deuteronomistic history, Noth believed that the history was the work of a single author writing in the time of the Babylonian exile. This author, editor took as his starting point an early version of the book of Deuteronomy, which had already been composed during the reign of Josiah, selecting, editing and composing it to produce a coherent work. Frank Moorcross later proposed that an earlier version of the history was composed in Jerusalem in Josiah's time, this first version, DTR1 was then revised and expanded to create Noth Second Edition, or DTR-2. Still later scholars have discovered further layers and further author editors. In the 1990s some scholars began to question the existence of a Deuteronomistic history and the question of the origin of these books continues to be debated. Latter prophets Isaiah Modern scholars divide the book of Isaiah into three parts, each with a different origin. First Isaiah, chapters 1 to 39, containing the words of the historical 8th century BCE prophet Isaiah and later expansions by his disciples, Deutero Isaiah, by an anonymous Jewish author in Babylon near the end of the Babylonian captivity, and Trito Isaiah, by anonymous disciples of Deutero Isaiah in Jerusalem immediately after the return from Babylon this orderly sequence of pre-exilic, exilic and post-exilic material is somewhat misleading, as significant editing has clearly taken place in all three parts. Jeremiah Jeremiah lived in the late 7th and early 6th centuries BCE. The book of Jeremiah presents Baruch ben Neria as the prophet's companion who writes his words on several occasions, and there has accordingly been much speculation that Baruch could have composed an early edition of the book. In the early 20th century Sigmund Mowinkel identified three types of material in the book Jeremiah chapters 1 to 25 being the words of Jeremiah himself. The biographic prose material by an admirer writing c. 580-480 BCE and the remainder from later periods. There has been considerable debate over Mo Winkle's ideas, notably the extent of the Jeremiah material and the role of Baruch who may have been the author of the Type B material. It is generally agreed that the book has strong connections with the Deuteronomistic layers from the former prophets, recapitulating in modern terms the traditional idea that Jeremiah wrote both his own book and the books of kings. Ezekiel The book of Ezekiel describes itself as the words of Ezekiel ben Butzi, a priest living in exile in the city of Babylon between 593 and 571 BCE. The various manuscripts, however, differ markedly from each other, and it is clear that the book has been subjected to extensive editing. While Ezekiel himself may have been responsible for some of this revision, there is general agreement that the book as we have it today is the product of a highly educated priestly circle that owed allegiance to the historical Ezekiel and was closely associated with the Temple. Minor Prophets or Book of the Twelve The Minor Prophets are one book in the Hebrew Bible, and many modern scholars agree that the Book of the Twelve underwent a process of editing which resulted in a coherent collection. This process is believed to have reached its final form in the Persian period, although there is disagreement over whether this was early or late. For the individual books, scholars usually assume that there exists an original core of prophetic tradition which can be attributed to the figure after whom the book is named. The noteworthy exception is the Book of Jonah, an anonymous work containing no prophetic oracles, probably composed in the Hellenistic period, writing psalms while a number of the psalms bear headings which seem to identify their authors. 
These are probably the result of the need to find a significant identification in tradition. The individual psalms come from widely different periods. Some presuppose a reigning king in an established cult in the temple, others clearly presuppose and mention the events of the exile. Job the Unknown, author of the Book of Job is unlikely to have written earlier than the 6th century BCE, and the cumulative evidence suggests a post-exilic date. It contains some 1,000 lines, of which about 750 form the original core. Proverbs The Book of Proverbs consists of several collections taken from various sources. Verses 10 to 1 minus 22 to 16 are probably the oldest section, with chapters 1 to 9 being composed as a prologue. There is some question whether this happened before or after the exile. The remaining collections are probably later, with the book reaching its final form around the 3rd century BCE. Ruth the Talmud refers to Samuel as the author of Ruth, but this conflicts with several details inside the book. It has been proposed that the anonymous author was a woman, or if a man then one who took women's issues seriously. The book is largely a unity, although the genealogy of David appears to be a later edition. Song of Songs The Song of Songs was traditionally attributed to Solomon, but modern scholars date it around the 3rd century BCE. Scholars still debate whether it is a single unified work, or more in the nature of an anthology. Koheleth, Ecclesiastes The Book of Ecclesiastes is usually dated to the mid-3rd century BCE. A provenance in Jerusalem is considered likely. The book's claim of Solomon as author is a literary fiction. The author also identifies himself as Koheleth, a word of obscure meaning which critics have understood variously as a personal name, a nom de plume, an acronym, and a function. A final self-identification is as Shepherd, a title usually implying royalty. Lamentations Lamentations is assigned by tradition to the prophet Jeremiah. Linguistic and theological evidence point to its origin as a distinct book in the 3rd or 2nd century BCE, with the contents having their origin in special morning observances in exilic and post-exilic Jewish communities. Esther The Book of Esther was composed in the late 4th or early 3rd century BC among the Jews of the Eastern Diaspora. The genre of the book is the novella or short story, and it draws on the themes of wisdom literature. Its sources are still unresolved. Daniel The Book of Daniel presents itself as the work of a prophet named Daniel who lived during the 6th century BCE. The overwhelming majority of modern scholars date it to the 2nd century BCE. The author, writing in the time of the Maccabees to assure his fellow Jews that their persecution by the Syrians would come to an end and see him victorious, seems to have constructed his book around the legendary Daniel mentioned in Ezekiel, a figure ranked with Noah and Job for his wisdom and righteousness. Ezra Nehemiah The Book of Ezra and the Book of Nehemiah were originally one work. Ezra Nehemiah, H. G. M. Williamson proposed three basic stages leading to the final work. Composition of the various lists and Persian documents, which he accepts is authentic and therefore the earliest parts of the book. Composition of the Ezra Memoir and Nehemiah Memoir, about 400 BCE, and composition of Ezra chapters 1 to 6 as the final editor's introduction to the combined earlier texts. About 300 BCE, Lester Grab puts the combination of the two texts Ezra and Nehemiah, with some final editing, somewhat later, in the Ptolemaic period, c. 300-200 BCE. Chronicles Chronicles is an anonymous work from Levitical circles in Jerusalem, probably composed in the late 4th century BCE. Although the book is divided into two parts, the majority of studies propose a single underlying text with lengthy later additions and amendments to underline certain interests such as the cult, or the priesthood, Deuterocanonicals, Biblical Apocrypha. Additions to Daniel The Greek text of the Book of Daniel contains additions not found in the Hebrew, Aramaic version. All are anonymous. 
The prayer of Azariah was probably composed around 169 eighths to 165 quarters, when Antiochus IV was oppressing the Jews. The Song of the Three Holy Children may have been composed by priestly circles in Jerusalem. Susanna may have been composed around 170-130 BCE in the context of the Hellenization struggle. Bell and the Dragon is difficult to date, but the late 6th century is possible. 1 and 2 ESD Ras Jerome's translation of the Bible into Latin contained four books of ESD Ras. Jerome's 1 and 2 ESD Ras were eventually renamed Ezra and Nehemiah. The remaining books each moved up to two places in most versions, but the numbering system remains highly confused. The present 1 ESD Ras takes material from the Book of Chronicles and the Book of Ezra, but ignores Nehemiah entirely. It was probably composed in the period 200-100 BCE. 2 ESD Ras has no connection with the other ESD Ras books beyond taking Ezra as its central character. It was probably written soon after the destruction of the temple by the Romans in 70 CE. Book of Baruch The author of the Book of Baruch is traditionally held to be Baruch the companion of Jeremiah, but this is considered unlikely. Some scholars propose that it was written during or shortly after the period of the Maccabees. 1, 2, 3 and 4 Maccabees The anonymous author of 1 Maccabees was an educated Jew and a serious historian. A date around 100 BCE is most likely. 2 Maccabees is a revised and condensed version of a work by an otherwise unknown author called Jason of Cyrene, plus passages by the anonymous editor who made the condensation. Jason most probably wrote in the mid to late 2nd century BCE, and the epitomist before 63 BCE. 3 Maccabees concerns itself with the Jewish community in Egypt a half century before the revolt, suggesting that the author was an Egyptian Jew, and probably a native of Alexandria. A date of c. 10075 BCE is very probable. 4 Maccabees was probably composed in the middle half of the 1st century CE, by a Jew living in Syria or Asia Minor. Letter of Jeremiah The letter of Jeremiah is not by Jeremiah. The author apparently appropriated the name of the prophet to lend authority to his composition, nor is it by Jeremiah's secretary Baruch, although it appears as the last chapter of Baruch in the Catholic Bible and the KJV. Internal evidence points to a date around 317 BCE, with the author possibly a Jew in Palestine addressing Jews of the Diaspora. Prayer of Manasseh The prayer of Manasseh presents itself as a prayer from the wicked, but now penitent, King Manasseh from his exile in Babylon. The actual author is unknown, and the date of composition is probably the 2nd or 1st centuries BCE. Wisdom of Sirach and the Book of Wisdom Sirach names its author as Jesus ben Sirach. He was probably a scribe, offering instruction to the youth of Jerusalem. His grandson's preface to the Greek translation helps date the works of the first quarter of the 2nd century BCE probably between 196 BC and the beginning of the oppression of the Jews by Antiochus IV, who reigned 175-164 BC. The wisdom of Solomon is unlikely to be earlier than the 2nd century BCE, and probably dates from 1050 BCE. Its self-attribution to Solomon was questioned even in the medieval period, and it shows affinities with the Egyptian Jewish community and with Pharisee teachings. Additions to Esther The Book of Esther itself was composed probably around 400 BCE by Jews living in the eastern provinces of the Persian Empire and reached its final form by the 2nd century BCE. Concerns over the legitimacy of certain passages in the Hebrew text led to the identification of the additions to Esther in the Greek translation of Esther of the late 2nd or early 1st century BCE. Tobit Tobit is set in the 8th century BCE and is named after its central character, a pious Jew in exile. The generally recognized date of composition is the early 2nd century BCE.
Judith The Book of Judith is set in Israel in the time of Nebuchadrezzar, king of Assyria. It has strong Persian elements, which suggests a 4th century BC date. It also has strong parallels with the Hasmonean period, which suggests a 2nd century date. It is typically labeled Pharisaic, but an origin in Sadducee circles has also been suggested. Additional Psalms The canonical Psalms contains 150 entries. Psalm chapter 151 is found in most Greek translations, and the Hebrew version was found among the Dead Sea Scrolls. Psalms 152 to 155 are part of the Syriac Peshitta Bible, some of which were found at Qumran.